Look at the size of that ant's nest. This is the type of thing that Klaus Schwab at the World Economic Forum would like to create for humans. You know, you could call it a 15 minute ant's nest. So I don't know how much you know about ants. Ants aren't like us, they don't have free will. They don't act individually, nor do they have individualized thoughts. They don't think for themselves independently, do ants. Instead, they have what's called a hive mind. So uh, the individual ants in the nest, they just do whatever the ant prime minister, or to be more accurate, like the queen of the, uh, the ant pile, uh, tells them to do. The ants are obedient rule followers, order followers. They just do whatever the queen ant tells them to do. So the queen ant is, um, creates uh, ke chemical instructions uh, through the, this thing called the pheromones. And um, the ants in the, the ant nest, um, they have no autonomy. They're kind of biologically obliged to obey the, the fer whatever pheromone the queen ant uh, creates. So, you know, if the ants did, a, you know, if there was the equivalent of an ant crime against humanity, an ant genocide, you know, the ants did something terrible. The ants, in, in their case, could legitimately claim I was following orders and there was nothing I can do about it because unlike ants, the ants don't have free will. They don't have uh, individualized autonomy. They can't help it. They were genetically designed to be obedient rule followers. So would it be possible to turn a human being into an ant? Well, I'd guess you'd need to create some sort of um, um, chemical um, that, that does the same thing as the pheromone does with the queen bee and the, the worker ants. You know, you'd have to do that stuff like what Jill Bates has been doing, you know, producing some sort of magic uh, serum that would uh, uh, reprogram uh, humanity's genetic instructions. Then you'd need to persuade the humans to, to have their uh, bodies reprogrammed. But that's all way too far-fetched and it's just another one of those conspiracy theories, isn't it? God bless.